install obsidian black on it. It has a very OEM look. And on top of that, we have the scratch resistance coating on it. So first thing you wanna do when you're wrapping your lens is to prep it as always. I like to use isopropyl alcohol just to clean all the debris, dust, and the oil that accumulates over use. But if it's brand new, you know, you don't have to worry too much about the cleaning. We wanna start with the lens hood. Now, your kit's gonna come with a ton of pieces. You're gonna start with whatever you think you can do. If you're a first time starting off, I recommend using smaller pieces, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna start with the lens hood. It's a, it's a very large piece, so what I recommend doing is leaving it on with the backing paper. So we're just gonna peel from one side, then we're gonna align it with the Nikon logo. Now it's, it's a very large piece, so you don't want to make any mistakes. We're just gonna align it with the Nikon, like so. Do not apply any pressure. We're just gonna roll it into their designated slots. And once you get to the end, we'll close the seam. And once you have it fully covered, we're gonna, you can, you can go over it with your hands, but I recommend using a soft towel. Since this is such a large piece of vinyl, we're just gonna slowly go over it just to apply some pressure and activate the adhesive. So once you have it fully flush and aligned, go ahead and apply the pressure and close the seam at the end. You should be able to see the 800 with the 6.3. The top section of the lens hood is rubber, so it will be covered in matrix black. This one's quite simple. We're just gonna go to where the seam starts. We're gonna lay it down. And we're, we are just gonna hold this out, keep it straight, and just roll with it. Like so. It's okay to overstretch this area. You will need it to overlap so it has better adhesion to the other skin, to the other side of the skin. So we're just gonna do that. And yes, it's fine to overlap. All right, so next we can move on to the body of the lens. Um, I always like to loosen the feet stand so we can rotate it easier to navigate. For this, I always like to start from the top. So we'll take the top strip that we have from the lens hood section, and then you can see the cutout, the dot indicator matches here. So we'll go ahead and do that. very gentle be aware of the edges we don't want it to stick to anything all we're gonna do align it with the dot now we don't want to overstretch the skin so you're just gonna tug it but not too tight like so and then we get to the other side you can rotate the lens Fortunately, this is not a heavy lens. Good job, Nikon. Just gonna close the seams like so. And same applies for everything. Now we're just gonna follow the indicators on all the strips and then apply it as we go. Now be careful not to stretch this part because it does require perfect alignment, like so. Otherwise you're gonna ruin the cutouts. 
Make sure that you're not stretching this area. It's very important to just lay it down and the seam should line up perfectly. The S, the Nikkor logo. And then slowly go over it with your fingers to fully adhere this section. You can see that the, there is a little bit of an extra skin to wrap around the contour on the bottom. Go ahead and do that. We can see it here. You can just fold it in with your fingers. So next we're gonna take this empty strip that has no cutouts. And what you'll wanna do, find the seam of the last strip, align it with that. Make sure you have it fully flush with the section because you don't want it to impede against the zoom or any of the rings. So you can see that they're both still fully functional. Follow the seams, do not impede on the seams. This one you might wanna give a little bit of tug just because it has the concave section. 